And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear. A man whom they took prisoner and hid away. A man whose name is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years. A story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam shall you hey wav hey. The universe of you hey wav hey. Brought to you by the nation of you working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death, this is your choice in this, the year 6003, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the Day of Judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse. And it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end, the Messiah would be revealed. And at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh ben Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh, featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Hey and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Hey. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Hey. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Hey, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us. However, in order to do so, 
you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kyle Bethel Yisrael. Yahweh put Adam in the Garden of Eden and gave him the first two commandments ever given to man, which were to dress it and to keep it. We are discussing the word keep. Keep in Hebrew is shamar, and one of its meanings is watch. Watch is defined as to be on the lookout, be expectant. So to keep the Garden of Eden from the perspective of watch means that Yahweh commanded Adam to teach his seed to be on the lookout for or to be expecting the future birth of a child like unto Moses who would return or restore us, the children of Israel, to the Garden of Eden, the promised land. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 tells us that this one would be the first to be gotten of the dead. We are now examining the intrinsic parts of the word gotten. We discovered that the word gotten is describing actions voiced about Yahweh ben Yahweh by people within the nation of Yahweh that they said existed or occurred in a time previous to the present. We discussed some of those statements and told you that they were false statements and that the witnesses agreed not together. Despite the fact that these were all false statements, they fulfilled the prophecy in Mark chapter 11, verse 18, which said that they would take these false statements to the scribes and chief priests who would in turn seek how they might destroy or get rid of Yahweh bin Yahweh. We define the word scribe and learn that it means writer, which is synonymous to journalist, myth maker, and scandal monger. We then define those words and learned that these are people who write and disseminate stories that are false, untrue, and fabricated. People who write and report stories to injure others by speaking malicious utterances of false reports. We also defined chief priest and learned from these definitions that chief priest means the United States government, the president, his cabinet, the Senate, the House of Representatives, the judicial branch, the FBI. All of these actions were done that the scripture might be fulfilled as it was prophesied that these things would happen to Yahweh ben Yahweh, the first begotten of the dead. Today, we will see how Yahweh ben Yahweh was the first to be gotten of the dead as we review the past actions caused by false statements given to the chief priests, the local and federal law enforcement agencies, and to the scribes, the media, by liars from within the nation of Yahweh. To show you the events or occurrences that took place during a time previous to the present, we will now carefully examine the intrinsic parts of the word get, which is the present tense of the past participle gotten. In Random House College Dictionary, Revised Edition, copyright 1988, on page 554, get means to communicate with over a distance. Documented in Webster's Seventh New Collegiate Dictionary, Copyright 1965, on page 168, 
Communicate means to have communication. On this same page, communication is defined as an exchange of information. On page 289, exchange means to give in consideration of something received as an equivalent. In Random House College Dictionary, on page 385, distance is defined as an extent of time. Therefore, from the word get, we can deduce that over an extended period of time, members from within the nation of Yahweh have given false information to the chief priests, the FBI, and to the scribes, the media, in consideration of receiving something as an equivalent exchange. What was this something? For the answer, let us open our Bible to the book of Luke, chapter 22, verses 4 and 5, which reads, And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money. Captain is synonymous to leader or boss. Thus, this scripture affirms that the chief priests, the FBI, and the captains, the leaders or bosses of the media, covenanted to give these lying informants money. Covenant, according to Webster's New World College Dictionary, 4th edition, Copyright 1999, on page 334, means a formal, sealed contract. On page 316, the word contract is defined as an agreement between two or more people to do something, especially one formally set forth in writing and enforceable by law. Therefore, the chief priests, the FBI, and captains, the leaders or bosses of the various media, formally agreed in writing to give two or more hypocrites in the nation of Yahweh money for their false testimonies and stories about Yahweh ben Yahweh. The word money has many meanings. One of its many meanings is documented in the illustrated Reverse Dictionary by Reader's Digest, copyright 1990, on page 348, which defines money as a contract or the like held by a third party until certain conditions are fulfilled. Money also means the same as escrow. According to the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, copyright 1978, on page 745, money is equivalent to wealth. On the authority of Webster's New World College Dictionary, 4th edition, on page 1620, wealth means great amount of worldly possessions. Any useful material thing capable of being bought or sold for future disposition. On page 415, disposition means settlement of affairs. Thus, the FBI and the media have a written contract between two or more hypocrites associated within the nation of Yahweh. This sealed contract is enforceable by law and it guarantees that a great amount of worldly possessions is given to these liars in exchange for their false testimonies against Yahweh ben Yahweh. It further guarantees that any useful material things capable of being bought or sold for future settlement of affairs may also be exchanged for their false testimonies. For example, these false testimonies may be sold for publication in books, 
magazines, and newspapers, and even made into movies. The particulars of this contract to date are being held in escrow by a third party until certain conditions are fulfilled. When all the conditions stipulated in the contract have been fulfilled, then the Judas family, two or more hypocrites associated within the nation of Yahweh, will receive their payments in full from the U.S. government and the media. We will discuss these conditions in a future program. From today's discussion of the word get, which means to communicate over an extended period of time, we have dispelled the myth that if you get in Yahweh, you can't get out. From the facts we have just presented, you can see that members of the nation of Yahweh had the freedom to speak with whomever they chose, and apparently, they also had the freedom to come and go as they pleased. To substantiate these facts even further, let us turn to Matthew chapter 26, verse 15, and it reads in part, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. According to the Synonym Finder by J. I. Rodell, on page 272, deliver is synonymous to communicate. The word communicate, as we explained earlier, means the same as get. All of the actions we have discussed prove that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the first to be gotten of the dead, as prophesied in Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. In order to learn more, about these false statements communicated to the FBI or the government over an extended period of time by the Judas family, next week we will continue to examine the intrinsic parts of the word get. As we follow our course of singling out the family of Adam from the perspective of the word watch and its relationship to keep. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mahdi is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge Architect of the universe is here. I bear witness to you today that the enlightened one is here. I bear witness to you today that the one all religion has been speaking of for over 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. The United States government has declared war against Yahweh ben Yahweh and the nation of Yahweh in its Project Megiddo report released by the FBI in October 1999. Do you know that this is fulfillment of prophecy? It was prophesied in Revelation 12:7 that there was war in heaven. Michael the Messiah and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. In the government's report, the nation of Yahweh is labeled as extreme terrorists, accused of believing 
that white people are incarnate manifestations of evil. We are even accused of preparing for a race war and are practicing paramilitary operations, none of which are true. This is a divinely declared word war, whose end result was already declared from the beginning. Since war has been declared, read the Nation of Yahweh's battle plan called Operation Word War on the internet at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Loading. One moment, please. The new Yahweh Ben Yahweh website now offers the latest in streaming technology to aid you in your study of the laws and teachings of Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Visit YahwehBenYahweh.com and learn about the Tetragrammaton, the meaning of the crucifixion, and how to keep the Sabbath. YahwehBenYahweh.com is your home for truth and insight. Read about Operation Word War and how you can work to balance justice. Shalom. Who is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life, politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. And the Messiah, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, is standing and feeding in the strength of Yahweh, in the majesty of the name of Yahweh, his God. And the lost sheep of the house of Israel is abiding. For now shall Yahweh be great unto the ends of the earth. Micah chapter 5 verse 4. The Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is the bearer of the spirit of Yahweh. And the spirit of Yahweh has rested upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh. And Yahweh has made Yahweh bin Yahweh of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh. And he is not judging after the sight of his eyes, neither reproving after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness is he judging the poor and reproving with equity for the meek, humble, and peaceable of the earth. And he is smiting the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips is he slaying the wicked. And righteousness is the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Isaiah chapter 11, verses 2 through 5.
remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> that just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleikum. The spirit of Yahweh has rested upon Yahweh ben Yahweh. With this endowment of strength and might, Yahweh ben Yahweh is judging the nations of the earth, not by the sight of his eyes or even by the hearing of his ears, but rather with righteousness is Yahweh ben Yahweh judging the poor. Yahweh ben Yahweh is reproving the meek and humble with equity. As for the wicked, he is slaying them with the breath of his lips. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikardesh Shemayaka, Tav Oma Kuteaka, Yase Razonka, Kivashemayim Kang Baaretz, and Lekam Kukainu, Tain La Nu Hayom, Uslak La Nu, Ah Karti Enu, Kimosha Sol King, Gamanak Nu, La Koteom La Nu, Veal Tefi Enu, Lede Nisayom, King Kal Seinu, Min Hara, Kilaka, Hamam Laha, Veha Givara, Veha Tiferet, Leolame, Olamin Sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal King who has so mercifully restored our souls within us, Selah. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh bin Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleikum! To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, ask about the special discount on What is Heaven? Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the Divine Mind of Yahweh Ben Yahweh on the Internet at the address on the screen.